I'ma get it froze. Every day I'm in that mode. Wake up, get some shit sold. Wiz Havin is a 21-year-old rapper from Tallahassee, Florida, who has been making waves in the Florida rap scene, despite only recently starting to take rapping seriously in early 2022. He has already earned cosigns from the likes of Drake, Real Boston Richie, and even Rod Wave. A testament to his undeniable talent, with over 5 million views on YouTube and an average of 140,000 monthly listeners on Spotify, Wiz Havin's rapid growth begs the question, how did he achieve such success in just one year? But first, let's get to know Wiz Havin. Tariq Tar Main Williams, better known as Wiz Havin, was born May 13, 2001. Growing up, he resided in Leon County, an area of Tallahassee, Florida, described as a rundown trailer park community. Although he knew who his parents were, their identity remains unknown. He had average grades during his school years, but his academic performance around 7th grade deteriorated after he had some run-ins with the law. I dropped out really in the 7th, but when I went, when I kept getting locked up, I got back up, up on my school shit, you feel Damn. me? Damn, when I came home, they gave, they allowed me to go back to public school. I, every time I'm going to class, they on some shit, like just saying a little funny shit, or treat me a certain way, because they felt like I was more on some thug, that shit, than the other students. Eventually, he lost his motivation to attend school. While he originally lived with his mother, he later moved in with his aunt. Unlike his mom, who encouraged him to do the right thing, his auntie did not try to prevent him from taking the path that led him towards the streets, as she believed that it was inevitable. As we delve into the world of up-and-coming rapper Wiz Havin, we quickly learn that his journey to success has not been an easy one. Wiz Havin was in and out of juvenile detention centers, with his first arrest being at 13 and his longest bid being a little over a year. He had a few different nicknames growing up, such as Lil One Way, TJ, and Wizard. He got his stage name Wiz Havin from people calling him Wizard, and he got the Havin part of his name as in having motion or money. Wiz goes on to explain what it means to have motion. Motion mean a lot of shit, but for the most part, me having shit together. You have me he started hustling after his third juvenile program, starting to make some real money he was able to buy himself a car at 17. He always tried to rap throughout his life, with his first time rapping being around 12 or 13, and his first song to date being in 2017 titled Dried on a Nigga. Yeah, Nick come straight from the bottom. I came from the struggle and starving. My mama had financial problems. Nigga sneak this and say they gon' rob me. They hating on me cause I'm poppin'. Won't wait till the money no stopping. Kick it those and me was a hobby. Pop a cars late night with my posse. I had to give me a check. I had to help out my mama though. I had to help out my he had friends who were rapping but it wasn't working for him so turned to the streets. But this would lead to his most recent arrest. May 3rd of 2021 Tyreek would be arrested for possession of cocaine and violation of parole, causing him to have to serve a year in Leon County Jail. After he got out, he decided to take rapping seriously and the young star was born. He would drop his first song after being released and named it Easy. After he dropped the song people began to mess with it, wanting more music from the soon to be star. He would later see Lamar Jackson repost his song and after this he was very sure he had a shot at rapping that easy e track i dropped that i seen lamar jackson jump on it i'm like yeah i ain't gonna lie i'm like i shot at this shit you feel me mm -hmm. immediately after he saw this he would go to the studio and record two more songs acting funny and my life he told his grandparents he would take rapping seriously and start making some money and they laughed in his face he took this to heart and used this as motivation he would continue to post songs on soundcloud and they started going up after a few months he would get on his songs with a smooth slash lazy approach and this caught people's attention because not too many artists in florida were doing this he would state that he was heavily influenced by the michigan rap scene saying he listens to artists like babyface ray v's lows and nutty he even got his signature ad lib from Lowe's. He takes credit for pioneering the laid-back flow in Tallahassee. Although he listened to mostly Detroit artists, he was a Florida boy at heart, calling Kodak Black one of his favorite artists. Throughout his music, he would mention golds, as in permanent gold teeth. But I'm from Florida, nigga. I can't skip the gold. On December 4th of 2022, he would go to Lando Golds to get a set of permanent gold teeth. Yeah, nigga, Mr. Too Sticky. I was Mr. Pink like pussy, but now this shit yellow like fish, you heard me? 
go spin you something. He would say he chose diamonds over golds due to the fact that when he was younger, he would say his pullouts were perms, and also the fact that his father had perms caused him to make this decision. I need to go redraw the wall, you feel me? So I, so I can have, yeah. Yeah, so it can be straight, yeah. As he would begin to catch a buzz, he would receive assistance from his longtime friend Real Boston Richie. Richie would repost his music giving Wiz a bigger platform to reach a greater audience. He would go on to release his first debut album Mr. Too Sticky on December 23rd of 2022, and this turned the whole flirt up. Drake would later post Wiz on his Instagram story, causing him to gain over 30,000 followers. Soon after he would drop a hot new single named Press showing his new fans that he was really in that mode. March 16th of 2022 he would reach his first million views on YouTube. YouTube. Wiz hasn't even been in the game a full year and his career is looking very promising. We could possibly see him sign to a label in the future. Who knows what the future holds? Until then, make sure you like, comment, and subscribe for more Florida documentaries. Mark season out. This is not my real voice, by the way. Might coming soon. Yeah, I told this oh God. I bought a four. That shit wasn't first till I put a dick in. I was just loud about it, loud about it. You post die by the die by the